everyone this is Carolise. what's going on what's going on come on in come on in come on in we got stuff to talk about listen this is going to be a very quick video i'm about to head out but i just want to stop and tell you guys something that i've noticed that i think will be very helpful for my community and that is as i'm looking through the jobs that are available on linkedin on indeed i've noticed something with the the type of jobs that have been advertised for business analyst and that is that employers are not honoring the difference between business analysis and data analytics or business analytics we both know it's it's different right the whole world of big data and data analytics and business analytics is a different thing report building um being able to create dashboards to help executives make decisions based on what's going on with the data that they you know you'll be able to pull together and make sense of that's a whole different career actually and there's a lot of scientists who dedicate themselves to analyzing data but from what i've seen the employers are not paying attention to that <laughs> like we know there's a difference we know it's two different careers altogether, or two different disciplines, two different, you know, realms of study and focus area. But the employers are like, you know what? We want one person that does the process, the requirement analysis, the stakeholder management, then turn around and do your report building and your dashboard, then turn around and become the SME, then be the leader. Like they want one person to do all of it. So they're not making a distinction. So as you're looking through these jobs, um, you're finding that there is still a lot of emphasis on data analytics, even though the job is for a business analyst. That's what I've noticed. So they're not making the distinction. And so what does that mean for us? Does that mean that we need to run off right now and go learn Tableau and go learn Power BI and start making dashboards and building reports? Probably. <laughs> but it doesn't mean you have to do it right now. It's just that you have to be aware that this is creeping into your career and even though it is it has always been a little bit a part of business analysis but it's never been the sole focus but i'm finding that more and more the the jobs are focusing a lot on this than they were before i think now especially with the pandemic and there's so much um changes and upheaval people want to understand more about the data that they have in the organization how that data can drive um, decisions that they need to make to be able to adapt and cope with the pandemic and things like that so i think that could have been a contributor to it but if you already had skills like sql and advanced excel then you're already a bit above the curve but for the rest of the business analysts who may be doing more process business analysts and more technical business analysts there's still plenty of jobs for you don't worry there's still Plenty of jobs where the technical business analyst just needs to go out there, write their requirements, do the elicitation, write the user stories, and that's fine. But I'm just saying that as you look to grow in your field, you need to be aware that report building, dashboard building, data analytics is creeping into your career. And at some point, you're going to find that most of the jobs you're seeing out there are going to have an element of this. So maybe what we need to start doing is to start retooling ourselves to be prepared for that. So if your organization can pay for you to go do a Tableau course or they have access to it that they can give you, you can learn on the job, then try to seek that out. Um, and if you're new to the field, I don't suggest you go off and learn all that right now because <laughs> it's still a lot to, to grasp. I still think you could start um, in business analysis without having these uh, advanced skills, but it's definitely something to keep in mind It's something to keep at the back of your mind that these employers are not honoring the different disciplines Right. They want you to do everything. Now you got to do all Go get the data <laughs> Go make a report out of it and go tell me what it says as well as go interview my stakeholders and my clients and go figure out the process as well as you know, just be the SME to train people, right? So you gotta do all of it now. And I don't know if the salary is making a difference. Like I don't know if the salary is keeping up with the additional work that they're asking for us to do. So we're becoming like a catch all. <laughs> but that's what's happening guys. This is where we're going. This is what's happening. So just thought I'd share that with you. I hope it was useful. Please like and subscribe and go to carolise.com 
and join the waiting list for my upcoming course where I'll be helping new business analysts to get started and even if you're an existing business analyst to give you some tips and techniques as well. So go check that out on carolise.com and I will see you guys next time in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.